instead of doing my normal kind of update video or uh, showcase video, I mean, of something I've done, I was just going I'm actually going to talk about this guy a little bit and some other things too. Uh, this was kind of a side project for me, uh, waiting this week, waiting for the tally to come out. Uh, mainly experimenting with the uh, pink armor uh, for Slanesh, kind of ally force for my orcs. Uh, I know maybe thinking about things of noise marines and maybe a Heldrake um, as allies, but I wanted to work with the pink a little bit. So I kind of pulled this guy out and started working on him. This is, of course, the Chaos Lord from Dark Vengeance. Uh, the other one I showed you, the, the one that was the Iron Warriors, was actually a commission. This one's mine. And I'm really very happy I could, how he came out. I didn't put a whole lot of effort to it, a whole lot of time into it. There's not much blending. You can see here on the cloak, I didn't really do any blending on it. I just kind of did some highlights. Um, I, did a little bit, oops, I did a little bit of blending on the uh, fur, uh, which I made green. But not a lot. It really isn't. Uh, this was mainly just to practice on the armory. I got a little bit of blending here on some parts of the armor. The rest of it's just some highlights. Uh, I did find out though that these guys are actually kind of hard to paint. They're very complicated. Uh, this guy is. I mean, this, but the second time was much easier than the first time. Was already knew where everything was supposed to go. Uh, so I did do some spot colors here. I did the same blue on the um, plasma pistol and the shoulder pad. I did on the other guy. Uh, but I also extended it to the uh, breastplate and the cod, cod piece. Um, then I went with kind of a green for the plasma and the sword. I was going to do yellow. Uh, I would say that might be a little bit too much of a spot color, or too many spot colors on it overall. Uh, but other than that, I mean, he's really, I really like how the pink came out. It's very dramatic, uh, very bright. Uh, the pink is done with two different colors. Uh, the base color is this model color of Sunset Red. The nice thing about my uh, local game store, they have model color, game color, P3, Reaper, all, all the paints. So I can basically just pick whatever colors I want. And then for the highlight, for the second layer, I'd use the uh, Citadel and Burst Children. So the base is the Sunset Red. Um, then it's washed actually with the Ball Red Wash, uh, which I'm not sure I'm going to do, or I might go with a Black Wash or some hybrid of it in the f for the next models I do. And then it's given another highlight of Sunset Red, or a layer of Sunset Red, and then a highlight of the Emperor's Children. Really simple, really basic stuff. The blue and based in Regal Blue, then has a black wash, and then layers of Regal Blue, uh, Hawk Turquoise, and finally Space Wolves Gray. Um, and then all the blues here. The gold is done with the Balthasar Gold, a black wash, and then layers of Balthasar Gold, and uh, what is it called? Our, Arc Armor Gold, you know, the new golds. Um, all this Arc Gold is amazing stuff, so. Of course, Bone is just done with general browns and, and bleach bone and brown wash. Uh, the cloaks, I should go with gray. Um, it's kind of the, kind of mute, the overall look compared to the pink. I didn't want to go with something too bright, so I just wanted something kind of neutral to more bring out the pink armor a little bit. Uh, so, I didn't do any, as I said, I didn't do any blending on the cloaks, I just did layers. It's, uh, base is a German gray uh, with a black wash and then German gray and then mixing up with a combination of German gray and uh, codex gray. So, and again the gold here is just Balthasar gold base with a little bit of highlighting with, done with the uh, Arc armor gold. So yeah, I really like how this guy came out despite not putting a whole lot of effort into it. Um, so it's just an okay paint job, nothing to too spectacular, but it gets the job done. And of course I put on the same desert basing I use on my orcs, because if I do use these guys, they're going to be an ally for the orc army. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put up a couple pics here at the end, and thanks for watching.